to Crafters TV is a final instalment of Craftful on this Saturday evening here in the UK. Uh, good afternoon if you are watching on the East Coast. Good morning uh, if you're watching on the West Coast. It's a pleasure to have your company. There's loads in this show. There is absolutely loads. We had a very, very busy Craftful earlier, but the good news is everything is still in stock. The bad news is we don't have deep stocks of a lot of stuff because it was so busy uh, on Saturday morning here in the UK. We're gonna kick it off with the double-sided dies that we've got on the show. These are fantastic. And you get the Peony window, this one here, totally free of charge. Remember, we are in our double discount uh, event at the moment. So you're getting a freebie here and you're getting a discount as well. It goes all weekends. There's the peony windy, peony window. Half the stock has gone here already. That one there is your uh, tulip, tulip window? Yes, tulip window. And you're gonna get the double-sided plates in this configuration as well. It's, it equates basically to a half price deal with your double discount. It's better than half price if you are a club member. Uh, club members, 23 pounds or $34.32. Saving way more than you are spending there, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I am not on my own. Oh no, my telly wife is back with me again. Uh, how are you, Debbie? I'm really good, thanks, Joe. It's been a great day, and we're on our final hour. I can't believe it. Where's the day gone today? Absolutely, it's flying by, isn't it? Loads of you chatting away and saying hi already. Ro is in. Uh, I can see uh, Ray is there as well in Tennessee. Nonna Lawton, Nonna Lawton said, "I've got a mug of tea, so I'm sorting and waiting." How fabulous! And Mary Pat is in from Montana as well. There's loads of other stuff coming up in the show today as well. Uh, so let's kick off uh, with the stained glass windows. These were super busy earlier. Uh, what you're going to get is with the stained glass windows, you're going to get a free set of the card blanks and envelopes. So you get five black, five white uh, of the card blanks and envelopes, and you're also getting an extra set as well, plus you're gonna get the die itself, which is, which is my favorite actually, of all of the designs from that. 14, less than 15 pounds for a Club Inspire Platinum member, less than $20 for Platinum members there, if you want to go for that one. Um, right, let's have a look what else is coming up. We're gonna have those nesting dies on the show, 40% of a big stock's gone here, uh, the scalloped edged oval you're getting for free, plus we're also gonna give you an extra 5% discount on the two that you are paying for as well. 24.68 or 32.20 if you want to get your hands on those. Now, up next, the edgeables. Gonna give you the brush tool totally free of charge here, which is fantastic, and we're gonna give you 20% off of the edgeables as well. You get the heart confetti, the butterfly breeze, the balloon bouquet as well. Less than 16 pounds for Club Inspire Platinum members here. Again, amazing value on that one. We've got some expression dies here. These are fantastic, all about your family members. You've got friend, our, grandma, granddad, auntie, father, step, uncle and nephew. Uh, 11 pounds 19 or 16.59 if you wanna get your hands on those. There's a great embossing folder collection available for you as well. Uh, this is fantastic because you're getting the Rick Rack and the Crafty Friends. So the two, the two Crafty Fun ones, they're coming to you totally free of charge. And we're gonna give you 15% off of the other ones that you are paying. You get seven in total there uh, for that awesome price. Mary saying hello again, Joe, Debbie, and all at Crafters TV. Debbie looks stunning is uh, what I'm being told as well. According uh, to the comments, a whole day uh, of driving or being on your feet all day and you are still a vision, Debbie. We do not know what we've done to deserve you. Oh, smoke and mirrors, Joe, smoke and mirrors. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> okay, double-sided window dies. Really uh, busy earlier. I know you love this. And also, if you go for these now, we're gonna be doing a masterclass tomorrow, aren't we, on these? So it means that we'll share even more hints and tips with you then. Uh, that'll be 1 p.m. UK time, which is 9 8, no, 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, so make sure you join us for that as well. Why do you think these have been so busy, Debbie? Uh, because they're so beautiful. I mean, who doesn't love flowers? But then combined with that 3D effect where you can cut out in one pass two dies at the same time and create this matte and layering. I mean, that is absolutely incredible that we can get that level of detail. This one we made at 11 a.m. this morning, so you can go back and re-watch, which is amazing. But this level, look, I mean, just that 
doubling up in one pass through the machine. I can't believe you've got the plates in here as well because it's the main thing that you need with a double-sided die is the double-sided plates to use. And each one, each pass, each piece of card that you use in different colorways is just gonna look amazing. I mean, I love this card. This looks like we've cut the die in so many different colors, but actually it's a background wash. And then the main dies have been cut out of this pink cardstock and the black. It looks incredible. One more we'll show of that peony die, looking beautiful there. And then we'll go on to that gorgeous tulip. So the, the tulip we're gonna cut in this hour, uh, it's such a lovely design. It's quite a peaceful design, if that's the right word for it. It's, it's just very sort of in the breeze, floating about, almost sort of, so you get well wishes is ideal for that. But maybe just a lovely, I mean, look how beautiful this card is. It's one of my favorites. It's been put onto acetate, looks absolutely gorgeous. Very simplistic, that one, but looks divine. And then doing it in darker shades like this just looks incredible in your sort of color spritz water background there. So really gorgeous designs in these two. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely love beautiful, them. aren't they? Uh, remember, if you want to get them, if you're a Club Inspired Platinum member, uh, you can get them for £23.02 or £34.32. As Debbie said, as you've got those double sided plates included, what a great starter, what a great try me uh, kit if you wanted to uh, try them for the first time. £23.02 uh, in the UK as a Platinum member, £34.32. Um, oh, Oh, well, I've managed to, I've managed to, uh, how have I got that from then? I've got my platinum price right, I've got the other price wrong. How much are there as a platinum member in the US? 27.46. I shall correct my mistake, Debbie. Uh, right, over to you. Absolutely. Um, and there's another thing I wanted to point out. So for anybody that's got the large Gemini um, and the junior plates is what you are getting with the double-sided dies. So you, if you have got them and you haven't got the junior size plates to go through your big Gemini, uh, you can just use these with your bigger plates. So please don't worry if you've only got the big Gemini. Uh, these will go through there as well because all you actually need I like to use my magnetic shim to give me an extra helping push uh, I need my bottom cutting plate so my metal shim my uh, double-sided mat then I'm going to take my die so the double-sided die cuts on both sides I mean you can imagine the technology that has gone into these dies is incredible so you're going to place that onto your die that you want to cut out for your bottom layer and then you're going to place that die uh, card on top then you're going to use your other cutting mat so that's cutting into it you can see mine is very well used and there's plenty plenty more uses in there they are going to last you an absolutely long time so they're not something you would have to replace that's the second time that's happened today just means i haven't straightened my plates to go through properly so i'm just going to pop them in and straighten them through um, yes, so uh, what they will do, if you suddenly find, because the only thing that I have found with my plates is if they're well, very well used, you get almost like a sawdust in them where the fibres of the cardstock uh, embed themselves. Uh, get some sandpaper. Uh, just sand the top over oh, really? top uh, tip that and me. wash them yeah absolutely and they're as good as new because what happens all those fibers of your cardstock gets in between all the cuts and then it starts making this almost like a like a paper mache on the top so just get rid of that with some sandpaper and your plates will be as good as new again and the same thing with any of what we say our gemini plates uh, make sure you um turn and rotate them all the time and cut onto all four sides and that would just prolong the use of them anyway so just Ooh. taking out our dies here all these bits are going to fall out so i've used i think it's called orange sunset so the paper pad that we had on earlier in the 4 p.m uh, show this is cardstock from that one so just popping out all the pieces there and actually i should be using my die brush it would be a lot easier just to do this. There we go. I mean, look how beautiful uh, that die is. I mean, just to have even one die like that, uh, to have that beautiful design, but we've actually got another one on the other side. Just gonna tap that there, pull this off, and then do the same with taking out all those pieces. I mean, it couldn't be more simpler than that. And that's two um, quite thick sheets of card that you've done there, isn't it? That's yeah, absolutely. That's Centura Pearl you just used. It is Centura Pearl, yes. 
So, so a really good go. quality car sort of cut through. Amalia says these double sided dies are beautiful, don't have these designs but have others and they make great shaker cards as well. Laura says that the tulip is her favourite. Uh, Melanie was asking about the double sided dies, do the Gemini plates work in the normal big Gemini? Uh, yes, as um, Debbie just covered there, uh, they do work in the larger machine for you, those double sided dies. So it doesn't matter, Watch whichever machine you have, uh, you're going to be able to use those plates in, which is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So what we need to do is layer them up. So what I'm going to do is bring in my dotty pen. It's the best thing you can use when you are um, uh, using your, wanting to stick a really, I mean, you can see it's a really intricate die. And I'm just going to go around all my edges to start with. Why do you do it on a piece of paper, Debbie? Why do I do it on a piece of paper? Is because the dots that don't attach themselves to the die cut, they will they need to go onto something else. Okay. So if I did it on my mat, like I think a lot of people do, it's all quite sticky on mm. the mat. Uh, a bit so like the stamping platform. Through. Yeah, as, exactly, Joe. A bit like the stamping platform. Apart from the stamping platform, it it actually is supposed to be. It's okay to be sticky. Okay. Because well, not according to Jan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It helps, it helps your, your stamp stick to it. Stir that pot, Joe, stir that pot. So the best thing about the dotty tape pens is you don't get any glue residue between. It all goes on. And if I just move that, you'll be able to sort of see that in the light, all the glue going through on there. Fabulous. And then I'm going to bring this in. Now, what I really love about these is they have this beautiful frame all the way around the outside. And both frames are identical. So you don't have to worry about where it goes, how to match it up. All I do is match it up to those corner frames. Because if you get that right, your, the rest of your die will just fall into place. So just attaching that there. And I'm just going to go around the edge of the dies. So it's just a really nice tip to just follow that frame round. And then I know that my die in the center will fall beautifully into there. So I'm gonna bring in some um, green cardstock again. This is out of the, um, the pad as well. And I'm just going to, there's a bit there that's, oh no, that's supposed to be there. So I'm just gonna use my scoring tool just to go down. All this does is make sure that all those glue dots are properly adhered to the inside of that die. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time on the back of this one, just to attach that to the green. Uh, loads of you chatting away still in the comments. Getting really busy on uh, this collection. Remember, you are getting uh, the tulips, uh, sorry, you're getting the peony window uh, completely free of charge, plus you're getting an extra 20% off of the remaining items as well. So uh, it's a really fantastic deal. I love the colorways you've used here. That's pumpkin, the top layer, I'm guessing, Debbie. I wonder what the other two are, do you know? Um, I don't know, to be honest. It's really lovely. Yeah, but I just <coughs> thought it was me. a little bit different and um, just really nice colours there. And they went with that sunshine pad. So when I, it was the, I think it's called sunshine um, or sunburst orange. Oh yes, like I that. know what you mean. The one so we had on all, earlier. Yeah, yes, that's it. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is cut around the edges of this one. I find it easier than cutting it to size. So it's just nice that we can get that precision behind it to cut that in. And then I'm going to bring in the card. So I've mat and layered um, some of that beautiful card stock on there. And this just matched perfectly well with what mm, we've got in there. And really then I've lovely. just bought in some almost sort of charcoal colour, um, which just matched in with the other little shapes in there. Then I'm going to bring my pen in and attach this down. Uh, so, do they cut the same image on both sides, is what Nonna Launton uh, said. No, I guess if you think of it a bit like a, a matte and layer, I guess is the best way to think, or a topper, I guess, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So, it doesn't cut the same shape, but it does cut um, a coordinating shape around it. So, this bit is the same shape, but you can see we've got a different shape in the middle. So, we see that difference that comes in there. And then I'm just going to lay this down. I'm actually going to bring in some uh, foam pads. I'm using loads of foam pads today. You really are going no, for I'm, it. I'm being a Craig today, aren't I? So I'm What's doing the reasoning it, behind that? What's uh, just pads? really, yes, to give it some definition, to give it, um, to make it pop out the page a little bit more. Just don't awesome. need too many on. Just pop them on. 
I love this colour combo here. Remember, you're saving more than you're spending as a club member uh, here because uh, £23 two or £27.46 is what you're going to be spending. Uh, and the, the usual price here, £58.97, £68.85. It's all part of our double discount event. You're getting double the discount, which means uh, you can have double the fun. You could do double the shopping. That's how I see it. Uh, I love the way you've offset those layers there. Yeah, I just thought I'd do them a little bit different. So normally we would mat and layer the same, but actually by twisting them around, it just creates a totally different look in your card. And then I'm just creating a little bridge just to pop across here. And I'm just going to pop a little foam pad underneath this front bit here and keep that bit um, just as it is. And then we can just attach that at the top. And then all I've got here, Joe, is a little bow. Now, what I've done with this bow, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but I've got a piece of pink ribbon and I've just edged it with my uh, orange pen. So you can see it just gives us those pink and orange colours there. So just a little awesome. bit different to create a different colour ribbon. And then we're just going to attach that. So nice and simple. That's really that gorgeous card though. I mean, there. it really is lovely. And there Very we go. modern with that. I think that background paper makes it look really modern. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? It's just beautiful and quite abstract, that bottom bit. But I absolutely love that tulip. Uh, so it, that, that's an amazing deal to get all of those. Both those dies, Joe. I mean, double sides, you're getting four dies really. And you're getting the cutting plates as well. That's amazing. Awesome. Almost 60% of the stock has gone. That is how good the deal is. Remember what you're paying for and what you are receiving. So you're going to get the Peony window totally free of charge, which is fantastic. You're not paying for that whatsoever. Uh, and you're also going to, so you get the Peony window, which is that one just there, uh, totally free of charge. You're also going to get the Tulip window. And we're going to give you those double-sided die plates to go with it, plus 20% off the two elements you are paying for. So that's where your double discount comes in. You're getting something for free and you're getting a discount on the bits you are actually paying for. Belinda has sent us in a picture made for her sister's birthday. Uh, that's gorgeous, isn't it, Debbie? It's beautiful. It's using the, um, the reef die that we had on, uh, which is beautiful. I love the way you've decorated that, Belinda. It's stunning. And that embossing folder is gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Really, really love that. Uh, we were talking about these stained glass windows being like, uh, reminding us of Whitby, weren't we? And now we've got a viewer in from Whitby as well. Nonna Lawton is in Whitby. There you go. Maybe Nonna Lawton's got a, uh, maybe she's got a, um, a stained glass window just like this. Maybe she's got a little cottage in we could go and stay in and go and have fish and chips. Yeah, oh, I bet it's lovely in the winter with the wind blowing. I don't know why the wind has to be blowing, but I don't know. That's I, is, is it ever not windy at the coast? It's always windy in Whitby, isn't it? That's why they call it Windy Whitby. Uh, this is your uh, half moon stained glass window bundle. You're getting the Land and Sea, uh, which is that gorgeous stained glass window. It's my favourite of the four designs uh, that are available. Uh, it's also been done here with some acetates. So you've got a few different ways of doing it, which is fantastic. What you're then going to get in here as well are the card blanks and envelopes that go with it. So you would normally get five of the white, five of the black with the aperture cut into them and the 10 envelopes to go with it. What we're going to do though as part of this double discount event is give you an extra 10 apertures on aperture card blanks on top. So you're going to get 10 of the white, 10 of the black, and then you'll also get uh, 20 of the envelopes to go with it as well. Um, so it's all good to go as soon as you get going. Uh, if you are in the club uh, as a platinum member, it's less than £15 or $20, which is fantastic value for money. Uh, it really is. If you've got these, I'd love to see some pictures of them. I know they've been one of the most uh, popular dies that we've done or die collections that we've done uh, in recent times. So would love to see those. Now, uh, something that was the star of the show in our earlier uh, Craft Vault airing this morning at 11 was this. Now, it's our Edgeables, but you're gonna get this totally free of charge. So, uh, we had it on the earlier show. You can buy it if you want to, but why would you? Six pound 50, you can get it now totally free and gratis so why wouldn't you uh, so let me share with you what you're going to get these edibles have been so incredibly popular since we launched them so this one here is your butterfly breeze as you can see uh, which is absolutely fantastic we then have here as well uh, the heart confetti you're also going to receive too uh, this one which is the balloon bouquet here which gives you that gorgeous uh, balloon edging really usable um, themes when you think about it because you've got balloons perfect for birthdays and celebrations you got the hearts 
And I mean, when can you have too many butterflies? Plot twist, the answer is never. Uh, so you've got really great usable themes, which are wonderful. And we're gonna give you that dye brush totally free of charge as well. It's an awesome deal. It was very busy as well in the earlier show on this one. 40% of the stock was already sold out and gone. Lots of you putting this in your basket already, I'm hearing. So I know we're gonna have a very busy installment uh, of the craft fault. Right, let's go and have a look at the nesting dies, which we saw earlier. So with these, nesting dies are an absolute essential and every crafter should have good nesting dies in their stash. You've got the scallop circles, which you're paying for. Uh, you have to pay for some stuff, I'm afraid, it's just how it goes. Uh, you've also got the stitched edged oval, but we're gonna give you the scalloped edged oval, totally free of charge, which is awesome. Uh, and we're gonna give you an extra 5% off the two you are paying for as well, which is, makes this brilliant value for money. Uh, it's 24.68 or 32.20 uh, if you want to get your hands on these. Uh, keep chatting away. If you wanna come and have a chat with me in the comments, then I would love you to. Uh, I am, of course, uh, we are, we, I say we, it's the royal we, our social media superstars are monitoring the conversation on the Crafters TV Facebook live feed. If you're on my Facebook feed watching it, uh, or you're on Debbie's, um, you know, Facebook page watching the feed, if you're commenting there, if you're commenting somewhere that isn't the Crafters TV page, we won't see it. So make sure you get yourself over to Crafters TV, make sure you've liked the page as well, maybe turn on the notifications if you want to, and also then I can see your comments, which is great. If you're across on YouTube, make sure you are searching for Crafters Companion, and we'll pick those comments up there as well. Don't forget, we will be giving away a card in this show as well, which is exciting, I know. Uh, everyone that comments will go into a draw to win it. The more you comment, the more chance you have of winning it which is brilliant i am eyeing out the corner of my bdi a beautiful demonstration coming up next debbie yeah absolutely do you know what joe i only just noticed on this one we showed it in the earlier show at 11 a.m but look at this flower at the bottom the flower is made from that dye how cool is that? So what they've wow. done is cut in to each part, used another one. I absolutely love that and I can't believe I've missed that before, but that is the actual dye that's made the flower on there. And then on top of that, being able to make a shaker card out of it is quite incredible. Now this was one we actually made in the 11 a.m. So this is the one we were posting out to our one of our lucky viewers. Uh, and then we've got our, uh, our oval ones. Now the oval dyes, you're actually getting 11 dyes in this one. 11 nesting dies, which is incredible. So you can go right from your big one to your really small one. I love the fact that we can create beautiful apertures in this and then use them inside to create our little toppers. This has got to be my favourite card of the day. I love how understated this is. I love how we can use those dies behind it to really just make it look very whimsical and beautiful and lovely colours. So gorgeous one. Another aperture one there where you've actually created just the aperture through there, created another aperture to mat and layer the cardstock, and then created the most amazing little topper on the inside. I mean, it's so beautiful. Creating card blanks is something I love doing. So to be able to do it out of a die is quite amazing. Really love that one. I like cards that just say hello. I like that sort of like, hello you. It's that really nice sort of just lovely sentiment. Um, this is gorgeous. So this is using two different edges. So we've got the, uh, the stitched edge and the scalloped edge around the outside, which looks amazing. And then a couple more, Joe, of just different types of cards. We've got this one here, which sort of pops in and out. So really beautiful design there. And then one, if you just want to use your toppers on the front of your card, matting and laying the circle ones and the stitch one on the inside. So there's just so much you can do. I mean, this is literally like, what, 5% of what you can do with a nesting die. There is just so much. So to start with, I'm gonna be using the oval ones. Uh, I want to show you how easy it is just to create a really cool frame. So we're just gonna use two nesting dies. I'm just using each one step down. If you use a smaller one, you can make a bigger frame. I'm gonna use uh, this one uh, just to create our main base frame. So what we're gonna do is take, I was looking to see what I needed. I need my uh, cutting plates. So let me just switch out my double-sided plates and pop in my plastic shim and metal, uh, sorry, metallic uh, mat. And we're just gonna be cutting through our, uh, some just gorgeous glitter cardstock. So let's take some low-tack tape, just so we can tape it down. I'm gonna tape it in two places, just to make sure it doesn't move. 
and then we will just place that and I'm just doing this by eye so you just look round to see that you've got a similar distance around the edges and then place that over the top and run that through. Awesome. Mary Kelly says, having a lovely crafty evening whilst watching you, Debbie and the team. You are holding up well after such a busy day. Me and Debbie are, you can't hear the, you know, you can't hear the, uh, they're falling asleep back there in the gallery. <laughs> Got the feet up. Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Uh, <laughs> um, Patricia Watling says, uh, wait, what? Cut into a scarlet circle, create a flower? Why did I not think of this after all of these years? I, don't I know. know. It's a pretty awesome new technique that lots of you will be giving that a go. Talk about transforming your waist and a crafter never really wasting anything, Debbie. I mean, that is just the inside of your scallop die. Perfect flower, who'd have thought it? I know, it's amazing. I need to get that back, don't I, and show it again because I'm going to bring that in because it's so, it's just amazing. I looked here and I thought, hang on, I think that's that die. Yeah, it's really amazing. So there we go. We've got our frame there. So we've created our frame. Now, the next thing I want to do, I'm just take some really pretty papers uh, and I'm going to take my paper to the actual card as well. In fact, we could stick it down, Joe. So no reason why we can't stick it down. I'm just going to switch out my tape. I am going to use tape pen on here because, um, because I want to die cut through both pieces. So don't put wet glue onto it and then die cut it through your machine because all that will happen is your glue will squelch out of the side and you'll get really sticky plates. So, plus because it's a wet glue, you don't really want to put it through your electronic machine. So I'm just sticking that to the front of my card. I'm then going to use my, um, so I've, the die cuts that I used, because I want to use that frame round it, I need to use the smaller one to cut the die cut. So I hope that makes sense. So when you cut the smaller one, this die will fit around the edge of that opening. So I'm just gonna place that onto the card. Take some low tack tape, and this time I'm going to switch out my plates for my main Gemini plates. Just doing that sort of central to eye, uh, and then grab my big plates. And we will awesome. Run that Getting very, very busy uh, now. Uh, loads of you, loads of you choosing to spend your Saturday evening with us here in the UK. Lots of UK viewers uh, watching. Uh, Mally is saying the design team are awesome with their makes. Very, very inspiring. They are indeed. They inspire us all are absolutely loads. And remember, if you want to see more of the things that have been made by the design team, Pinterest is always a great place to go for that. Uh, you'll find lots of our collections, all of the, um, all of the finished um, makes and projects that are made get photographed and then all the projects go on there. So you've always got somewhere uh, to go and get more inspiration from, which I think is really, really handy. So Joe, we've cut that out. So if I just take my tape off of there. Oh, all sticky. There we go. And then you'll see that's cut directly through Perfect. my piece of card. So it's giving me that really gorgeous oval design. I've then got my outside edge that I've done, which will stick perfectly around that edge. So Love to be that. able to, fra yeah, I mean, being able to frame that is incredible. So I'm just going to take my piece. I'm trying to use the same piece of card that's got all my sticky uh, stuff on. And then we're just going to use our glue dots to go around that frame. So nice and simple. I mean, you could sort of use a wet glue. If you don't have the Gemini, you might just have to send that through your die cut machine a few more times. But because I've got the pressure of the Gemini, I know that that's gonna cut perfectly uh, through both pieces of card at the same time. So just oh, popping that round the edges, sticking that down. And that creates our outside aperture card, which is beautiful. Then what I've done is it, we have our, um, we've got sentiment stamps. You'll find them on the website, but there are, um, uh, I can't, mix, mix and match sentiments. Mix and match ones? I think they're called. Yeah, they're the ones, yes. So we've got them on the website. So I've literally just stamped a nice sentiment in there. And then I want to, um, to pop this on the inside. So what I would do is, just make sure, because this is the same size as my dies, close it when you put it in, and then you can then just open it and stick that down. And that will be in the perfect place 
when you're opening and shutting your card there. And then all I've got, Joe, is I've got just some few embellishments. So I've just cut myself some leaves, made myself a little flower, and I'm actually I'm disgusted with myself that I didn't find that idea of doing the flower from the actual die cut, which would have been amazing. You can't have all the ideas, Debbie. I can't you know, have all the Someone else has got to come up with a, with a better idea true. at some point. That's very true, Joe. Yeah. very true. I just oh, wish I could idea. come up with those ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to put our leaves going up here and uh, our leaves at the side. I mean, the good thing is, is that everything you've got, you know you've got gorgeous flowers in this. Uh, you've got gorgeous flowers in, the, uh, in your stash, so what you can use at home. And then I'm going to just finish with a bow. There we go. You must have done them. and we're just just having a little bit of an estimate of how many cards you've made today. Do you reckon it's an average of four per show if we averaged it out, I reckon? I think I'm probably yeah, absolutely. It must be it's over twenty. It must be over twenty cards today you've made. Oh absolutely. I think I'm probably the one that makes the most cards. I think I'm I'm fairly quick with my demos, I think that's mm. what it is. But let me know if I'm too quick for you because I can slow it Amazing. down a little bit. So but I do love to get loads of demos in, Joe, because for me it's what absolutely. draws us to all the stuff that we can use because the tools yeah. are what makes us who we are as crafters mm. uh, and there you go a really nice aperture card made with simple nesting dies yeah absolutely really awesome one of so many different things that you can do mats and layers tags card blanks that's why that um every crafter really i think should have an awesome set of nesting dies in their crafty arsenal now these are those dies what you've got here um sorry i did a little windy pops then did you realize <laughs> Was a little bit of a was a little bit of a burp. I'm sorry. It was my salmon salad. Um, right, scalloped edged oval. That's the one. It's honestly, I've, I'm on a new eat, I'm on a new healthy eating plan. So you know what it's like. Changes. Um, you have got scalloped edged ovals that are within here. You're not paying uh, for these. I'm just hearing there's a big whoosh of you on the website going for these. Uh, you got the scalloped edged circle in there and you've got the stitched edged oval as well. You only pay for two and we give you 5% off of the two that you do pay for as well. Right, such a pretty card, Irene says. Uh, let me share with you these expression dies that we've got. I'm gonna show you. You're gonna have to get very close, um, Charlotte, I'm afraid. I'll show you the back of the packaging because it shows you the font. Now, don't forget, not only do you get the font die, you also get, so I hope my nails are clean, uh, you also get the uh, mat for it as well. So you can create a mat to go under that. You've got nephew, granddad, father, step, friend, grandma, our, uncle, and you've also got auntie. They are slightly larger than that, uh, it says on the back of the packaging there. So you can see they are slightly larger uh, than the back of the packaging. Size wise, oh, oh, I don't think it says on the size. Size wise, 1.3 by one inches. So really good, especially useful on those smaller card projects sometimes that you do, which seem to be very popular uh, at the moment. Let's move on to the embossing folders uh, because these are fabulous uh now what you're going to get are the crafty fun ones uh totally free of charge let me just grab those for you actually here they are um right so this is what you're going to get in here you're going to get uh the grande butterfly butterflies are just eternally popular aren't they do you think the butterfly is ever going to go out of crafty fashion debbie never never ever ever because how long has it been ever, a trend ever. for in crafting uh, oh, forever. Forever. Forever, ever, 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 and ever. There you ever. go. You yeah, can't have too forever. many of them. <laughs> so you're going to get the butterfly. You're also going to get the climbing ivy. And you're going to get the lavish leopard print as well. Also in there, you've got, from Sarah's signature, some glitt glittering snowflakes. You've then got as well, that one just there, which is your touch of winter. And you're going to get, all oh, from the peacock uh, nature's garden collection, Check that out. I mean, that is glam, isn't it? Uh, then, for free, you're not even ch we're not even charging you for these. We're going to give you two Crafty Fun Sarah Signature embossing folders in there as well. It's an awesome deal for you. 
And uh, you've got not only the two free folders, but an extra 15% off the folders that you are paying for as well. 28.85 or 40.62, uh, 23 pounds or 32 dollars as a Club Inspire Platinum member. Uh, right, we will go back to the stained glass windows. You guys are loving these at the moment. And this is, there's a collection of four, larger collection. The other ones that are available is there's a windmill one, there's a lily one, and there's also a kingfisher one as well. Um, kingfisher? Is it a kingfisher or a hummingbird? It's a kingfisher uh, as well. This is my favourite. I always am very vocal about the point that I think this is awesome. When I think about stained glass windows, this looks very, very uh, traditional in that sense. You're getting the die. Now, the die cuts the aperture as well as the detail. So once you've used your aperture card blanks, you're absolutely going to be able to cut these yourself. We are included, though. We normally we include 10 card blanks, 10 envelopes. We're going to include an extra 10 because it is part of the double discount. And we're still going to give you uh, a discount on that as well because you're still getting... 10% uh, off as well on top of that which is awesome so a really great deal today there on that you guys have been sending some pictures in already we love it when you send us pictures you can do so uh, by emailing studio at craftscompanion.co.uk if you want to send some into us Kylie has sent us a balloon edgeable card uh, oh, I love that <gasps> free cake yes please oh, that's gorgeous isn't it Debbie all those different balloons are done out of different colour mirror cards which look beautiful. Oh, I love this one, Joe. This looks beautiful. Rosalie, you've done a great job there, especially cutting those letters out of the uh, mirror card. There's glitter card. Looks gorgeous. It really is gorgeous, isn't it? For her auntie, that one there, apparently. Charlotte is the master of close-ups. Apparently that's the case, Charlotte. Honestly, Adam and George, they will be shook when they hear this noise. Um, Laura says, I love this paper, I want this paper. What collection or pad is it from? Was that your last demo? Uh, let me see, what did I just do, Joe? That one there. <laughs> what did I just do? Um, I can't even remember. Do you know when you get a Where pad? Where is that from? Is that from, <sighs> you know the lilacs that we had on earlier? Is that from the matching patterned paper pad that went with it? I think it is. I don't think I, it's in I mean, stock. I ha I'm, it's terrible to say I have so many paper pads and I just have a flick through, but I'm pretty sure that is from that lilac. Yeah. yeah. We had the lovely lilacs on lovely the show earlier. Lovely lilacs, that's it. The yes. lovely lilacs is the planes and there was a pattern that went with each one. Can't for the life of me remember what it's called. Do you know the great thing though about Crafter TV? Because we are so interactive, it means someone in the comments they're going to pluck it out of thin air any moment now someone's going to pluck it out of thin air and we will uh, let you know um, keep commenting away keep sending me pictures keep doing all those fabulous things that you do uh, because we've still got another 24 minutes of crafty inspiration education uh, to share with you uh, before the end of the show right debbie over to you in the studio. Yeah, absolutely. Over to me, Joe. I can't believe 24 minutes. Where's the time going? It's amazing. Flies um, by. We could just keep going all night. Should we just keep going, Joe? I think we should Let's just go. go for no, a few hours. no. We get told off. <laughs> we need a break. We need to eat. But actually, I've had such a fun day and I can't wait to do it all again tomorrow. So these cards, you're right, Joe. There's something really special about the lighthouse one. I called it the ship die earlier, and, and uh, Johnny had said it looks to me, quite the nice to me. Die. Uh, and then I was like, like <laughs> show. I was, oh sorry, it's got the boat and the lighthouse, not the ship on it. <laughs> but uh, if you've had Sarah's collection in the past where she did the uh, Under the Sea collection, I think it was, or a seaside collection, I can't really remember what it was. Nautical, there we go. Uh, it had that rope on it and it just really lends itself great to this and the papers as well, so really beautiful. But this one's been done with sort of paper piecing, which is quite incredible. It looks absolutely beautiful. I really love this design i like the stripes in the background i like the fact in fact we had the swash stamps you can just see those swash stamps that have been uh, created across the bottom there which look really beautiful but so nice just doing it in those two colors and blending them together looks incredible and then one we done earlier which is the one we love that, we've that. Done with them with our uh, glitter markers that we've done and that actually just uh, if i just bring it all out here it's just a nice different card that you can do with that i so, feel like i need to get those glitter markers just for writing with oh totally they're amazing to write with yeah, yeah. really beautiful to, to write with I don't know if they've been out of stock or whether they come back in because we seem to do mm. them and then they they sold out but they hopefully... came in literally I saw them they were on a HSM preview show mm -hmm. we didn't really demonstrate them so I did a really tiny quick demonstration 
Uh, and then they went to HSN, sold out there. We did a launch day, Colour Me Happy, I was off. Ben got to do them. Totally sold out, haven't seen them again. Yeah. Do you consider yourself quite nautical, Debbie? Nautical. Hmm. I don't think so. No? I, I tell Could you, you imagine going out on like a little sailing boat for a well, holiday? Well, the main not, reason like, why I have a... I have a bit of fear of the sea, Joe. Yeah, me too. Mm. Oh, I do don't you? like. I never yeah, knew that. I don't like the idea of open water. No, me neither. So I don't neither. like the idea of. Um, I don't like the idea of not being able to see what is beneath. So That's if I, even if I'm at, even if I'm in standing water, I once went in a swimming pool in a hotel, and it was like they'd themed it as like some like Roman baths almost with lots mm. of climbing ivy. But it was a bit dark, and the pool floor was green. I couldn't get in because I yeah, couldn't no. really see. Oh. Uh, so I don't like that. I'm so pleased that someone else mm. is like me because everyone says, oh, really? They love the sea. But I have a bit of a fear of the sea. I yeah. think it's a very... I love watching it on TV. I love... But, oh, it just scares me. No, it, it does scare me. I mean, it's me. very rare. If I've got... I've been on, like, a catamaran before and got in. There's been a lot of people there and I had, like, a mm. life jacket on. But even then, if something brushes against me, oh, gives yeah. me the heebie-jeebies. The only time I've ever, like, really gone out further than I can stand in the sea was when I was, it was in Australia. And it was so clear that you could see the bottom mm. and you could see everything that was around around you and I was all right with that yeah it's so funny, probably not going to be swimming off the coast of Whitby anytime soon <laughs> so no I wouldn't say I'm nautical but I, I do like quite the nautical theme of, uh, of your attire I like sort of that blue mm. and white that navy and white those anchors that sort of thing and then carb making I love it so it's great so what you're getting with this did I uh, see Joe did we get two packs of these cars so two you're getting packs, 40 yes. so you get your bonus pack of those that's one of your discounts and then the other discount is an extra 10% off the bits that you are paying for that's How amazing fabulous. yeah that's amazing so these are beautiful apertures you can use them for anything but they just work really well for these dies and fit perfectly on the inside so you're getting the black and the white ones so we made one out of the black card earlier and done something a little bit different earlier on so this time we're going to use the white card blank uh, and cut this again into black some black card stock but if you wanted to get a different make on it uh, have a look at our earlier show as well so just turning my plates over popping that on the front there and then we can send that through our machine so nice and easy they cut beautifully every single time all the bits come out so well which is really amazing um, and just a really nice die to use especially I mean we call them window dies because that's exactly what they do you can see through them uh, but they're also great for paper piecing so if you did want to uh, paper piece any of them they're going to be uh, a great one to use for that so what I'm going to use is my brush tool this is now I don't use the, um, you've probably noticed that there is a, um, a sponge mat that comes with this that you can use. So basically you put this on your sponge mat and as you do that they press into the actual sponge mat. But I've got a bit of a, another fear, a bit of a fear of a sponge. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't really like sponge, so I don't use mine. So, uh, yeah, I don't like the feel of it. It gives me goosebumps. It makes me go cold Any all sponge? over. Well, Clearly yeah, not Jaffa like, Cake, though. That's use... fine. You're right with that kind of sponge. What's that? You're right with Jaffa Cake sponge. Oh, absolutely fine with that sort of sponge, <laughs> Joe. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I've got it from or why, but, yeah, I don't, I don't use sponge at all. I don't, I don't like the feel of it. It's not, not nice. So this time I've got some uh, acetate and I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is place my dye onto there because it has got a sticky coating and just rub that into there because then that should, there we go, should pick that out and take that out of my dye. So that gives us that perfect layer there. And then this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my tri-blend markers. So I'm going to use these just to give a bit of colour. Now I always like to colour on the back. You could colour on the front actually, but I'm going to colour into the black. So into the back, sorry, not black. And just colour. Sorry for the squeaking if anyone's teeth uh, are on edge. But I do like to use the alcohol what pens What sort of here. acetate have you used for this? Just, this is construction heavyweight okay. acetate. So I'm just going to colour a nice bright red. I was always surprised to find that it dries, you know, on acetate. In my head, it wouldn't, alcohol marker wouldn't dry on acetate. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, OK. Well, it's because it's, uh, the alcohol would just evaporate, which means everything dries. That's why alcohol markers are permanent. Yeah, I thought the, I just, in my head, the pigment would just slide off because it was so shiny, but it's obviously not what happens. No, Science is amazing, all. isn't it? Works beautifully. 
and does colour really lovely. I mean, I'm no using worries. our brush markers, so they're a lot more softer. I'm just going to switch to different colours. Uh, Joe B says, just tuned in. Want to tell Debbie how much I love her hair today? It is very, very becoming Aww. to her. Turns out everyone's loving your updo, Debbie. And the updo. <laughs> and it stayed and up. And it stayed. You know what, Joe? I'm actually quite shocked because I haven't done anything all day. And it's lovely. I haven't even had to put a brush for it. It's just been there all day. I've probably got a few more bits pulling down at the side. No, it looks brilliant. Oh, thank you. I don't uh, normally have my hair up. It's nice to sometimes do something a little bit different, isn't it? Absolutely. She do something that scares you every day, apparently. Oh. I'm not saying that your hair scared you today, Debbie. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to touch sponge any day. <laughs> no. Uh, Candice says, "Oh boy, uh, my Christmas money is is now spent. I had to take advantage of some of the wonderful sales today. Love the double sided dies and don't have the two off for today. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Going in my basket. Treat yourself, uh, Candice. Treat yourself Saturday." It's treat yourself, it usually treat yourself Tuesday, but it's treat yourself any day at the moment. Do you know what? I feel like it's just, we're in a time and a place, Debbie, where you just gotta get through it. And do you know what? If doing a load of crafting, spending a bit of extra money on crafting is what you do to get through it, then brilliant, you know. What I've been doing to get through it is eat loads, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna have to put a stop to that now because we are, you know, hopefully, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. We are nearing completion, I would hope. So, you know, a few more months and, um, I'm going to see the light of day again. Absolutely. And at some point this year, maybe I'll even be on a beach again. Oh, and if I go on a beach nice. at the moment, I'll probably get harpooned by a Japanese whaling ship. So I'm going to have to go on a bit of a diet <laughs> before the summer comes. Joe. <laughs> I actually don't know where your mind is at, Joe. I don't know what, what happens in I that got, mind I've, of yours. I've started a new diet and I've got a lot of energy. That's yes, I'm like a little a bundle. Of I'm like a little. I'm like a, a puppy today. I don't know why I've got all this energy uh, from. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wish I could tell you sometimes everything that happens here at Craft TV. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're laughing, but we anyway, can't tell you, you what what's going on. Yeah, Joe's Joe's lost. Joe, it's the first time I think I've heard you lost for words. <laughs> I just can't say anything that's not going to incriminate myself, Debbie. So no, sometimes just keep quiet, Joe. <laughs> it's a really lovely demo, and it reminds me of being at the seaside. Uh, where it's all nice and green and peaceful and lovely and blue of course as well do you know what I, I literally cannot wait till we can just get back to normal and just do normal things i mean hopefully lockdown will be over and we will be able to just go on the beach oh yeah i reckon i reckon soon debbie not 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 too far not too far away at all i mean it, when we're up here um uh, when we're up here, um, I think we could probably go, you know, go for a walk on the beach up here, you know, in the UK. In the UK, up here, whilst we're here, I mean, because this beach is very, very close by. We could go for a walk along the beach as our exercise. Oh, gosh, if I was a morning person, I start work at 10 a.m. How nice would it be to get up, go to the beach for a walk and then come to work? It's never going to happen because I'm just not a morning person. But you morning people out there, I'm jealous. So um, what I've done is uh, I've coloured on the back of my image and then I've turned it round and it gives that just more sort of muted effect on there. And then all I've done is I've just got my aperture. Uh, I've then trimmed around with my... Um, where's... I uh, can't find my packaging. Here we go. With my actual die. So you can cut out the shape of your actual paper to go over the top. And I, this is just from my stash. So it's not Crafter's Companion, but I just thought it would be a really nice one because it's got sort of a worldly uh, atlas. Uh, and then the Bon Voyage is from the uh, swash stamps that we had in the earlier awesome. stamp. In, uh, earlier They're show. They're really handy, those swash stamps. You get them into loads of different projects, can't you? Uh, Teresa says, Joe, you crack me up. Well, I'm glad that I make you laugh, Teresa. <laughs> um, well, don't forget when you give that card away soon as well which is awesome yeah so absolutely. everyone that comments will go into a draw well what are you going to give away Debbie I think you should give the um, double-sided one away personally 
The double side, yeah, it's beautiful. I but I also, gorgeous. I quite like the um, the nesting die ones as well, Joe. Ooh, so, but yes. there we go. And so this nice and simple. Gorgeous. And actually, I've just got some um, a bit of string there from my nautical collection. So we will just attach that onto the front there. And there we go. I wouldn't have just thought of doing that with the tape that pen, off. you know. Sorry? I've never thought of sticking that with a tape pen. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, 17.90 out of 24.21 if you want to get your hands on that one. Uh, right, less than £15, less than $20 as a Club Inspired Platinum, which is awesome. Uh, and I love it. This is my absolute... Uh, favorite probably my favorite ever demonstration i don't know who made this i think it was made in a show no it wasn't joe joe garrett made this uh it is absolutely lovely uh all paper piece i believe no alcohol market actually by the looks of it really really awesome it's a lovely uh really lovely card um there now uh, if you want to grab that, remember what you're going to get is you're going to get the die and you're going to get two sets of the card blank apertures and envelopes. Um, but we're going to give you one of those totally free of charge. And we're going to knock a little bit off uh, what you are actually paying for as well. So it's part of your double discount, um, double discount weekend. Uh, it's running all weekend, right up until the end of Sunday. Uh, now, three quarters of the double sided dies, three quarters of the stock gone. Tulip windows is what you're going to get in here. You're going to pay for this one. However, you are not going to pay for the peony window, uh, which is the one here as well. So there is your tulip window, and there is your peony window, which is Tina Turner's favourite die, apparently. Allegedly, it's not really. But it does sound like a Tina Turner song, doesn't it? You're going to get the double-sided die plates in there as well for the junior. That's awesome, because it means they will go through um, both the Gemini Junior and that large machine as well. Uh, if you're going for these, what's fantastic is, as a Club Inspire Platinum, for £23 or £27.46. Now, one of these dies on their own is worth £22.99 or £25.95. So literally, for pennies more, you're going to get an extra die as a Platinum member and the double-sided plate's totally free of charge. If you're not in the club at all, you still got half-price deal. So everyone is on to a winner here uh, with these. They are very busy, as are the Edgeables. Now, let me remind you what you're getting in here. You're going to get the Heart Confetti, which is beautiful. And you're also going to get as well, there's your Heart Confetti, there's your Butterfly Breeze, and you're going to get the balloons in there. And then we're going to give you that die brush totally free of charge, which is fantastic. Uh, and you've got a lovely discount there as well on the actual dies themselves. You've got 20% off the bits that you are actually paying for, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, right, I know we don't have very long left, Debbie, uh, but you've got something you can squeeze in before the end. Oh, absolutely, always. Just a, a few quick samples, just to show you what those edibles can do. So many different ways that we can do with these samples. I love this one, creating on that Z-fold card along the bottom. Maybe just leaving it in your card there, creating just beautiful edges on your tent fold cards which look incredible uh, matting a layer more than one i love this one where we're creating a wrap around the card just using your gorgeous paints at the side paper piecing is another way to do it uh, plus this one we're going to do a quick demo showing that uh, those uh, paper piecing and how you can do it i love that balloon one so we're going to just create a little something for uh, with the balloons so I've got some different card stocks. I've got some glitter card, white card as a card base, and then some mirror card. And what I've done here is I've just crease folded this amount here, which I, I can create for a wrap around the card. So I'm just gonna place this onto my card stock. You need a six inches, that's what this die is. You've got a little notch you can see at the top here and a little notch at the bottom. So they will go top and bottom to create your actual card there then I will just make sure that's straight. So if you wanted to pop that in the middle of a longer card then, what would you do? Would you just use scissors to snip the excess bit out or, um, yeah, so could you have it so it was just poking out the middle of a card? Do you get what I mean, Debbie? Um, yes, all you would do is cut up. You would cut, so if this was longer, so you were putting it, let's say, onto this white piece of card, yeah. and you had that longer, you would just cut away Perfect. the excess. So, so yeah, absolutely, yeah, you could put that on any any size you can, but a standard size is six inches for the die, but yeah, any, any size. So just place that into your die cutting machine and run that through. 
so just placing that in there. I'm using my Gemini Junior plate, you've probably noticed, but on my big Gemini, so it means that every die, in fact, what throughout this hour's show, we've been able to use everything on our Junior machine, so any die cut machine you've got from A5 up will be perfect for these. So taking those to the side, taking that off. Now look how intricate awesome. that die is. Looks beautiful. What I am going to do is bring in my card and bring in my glitter card stock and I'm going to stick this together. So we're going to stick this onto our, so the glitter card stock onto our die base. That would just give us an edge there. Popping that into place. And then we're going to pop our other die around the card. So, but what I am going to do is I just need to put some of our dotty tape, and there it is, just on the edges here. Uh, Lynn says, I do love these balloon edgeables. I think it is one of my favourites. I think the balloons was uh, one of the most popular when we bought it to you as a larger collection. The reason you're now getting it at such an awesome price is because, of course, we are down to the last of the stock on this collection. I think it was six of these originally, and now we're down to three, and that is why you're getting such an awesome deal on them, uh, because they were very, very popular uh, at the full price. Love, I never thought to put red mirror and gold glitter together but it works so well doesn't works it works beautiful and then i'm just going to just to hide this sort of plainness i mean you could always put it through an embossing folder but i am just going to stick a piece of the uh, glitter card that we had scrap left over so really. would you emboss that before or after you've die cut it if you were going to emboss that piece of mirror what you could do is actually put it through afterwards uh, because when you cut it or flatten your emboss but you can actually leave this hanging out of your uh. emboss embossing Clever. folder so just embossing that piece there the other thing I then want to do is I want to introduce another color so what I did do was cut it out of white and then I've run that through the Xyron so we can then paper piece the white balloons back in so nice and simple I think I may have one missing there yeah I think I've got one missing but never mind you won't uh, you won't blame me for that so popping those back in so it really makes those balloons pop and then what we've got here i've just cut one of our we've got them on the show um uh joe which is the uh expression dies so i'm just going to use that and we can use that in our actual uh, balloon and then that will finish that one off so all that needs is a little bow at the side but look how pretty and quick and easy that card comes together absolutely gorgeous it really is lovely that card uh, and remember as a club inspired platinum member uh, you're going to be able to get your hands on this for 1534 2678 we're giving you that die brush totally free of charge and we're also going to give you 20 percent off of the three dies that you are paying for let's take a moment to recap all of the awesome stuff that you've seen so far in this show we're going to kick it off with the stained glass windows uh, you're paying for the die and one of the card blanks and envelopes we're going to send you an extra card blanks and envelopes on us and give you a discount of course on the bits you are paying for too 17.98 or 24.21 those double-sided dies are still busy uh, you're getting the p e window completely free of charge here uh, club inspired platinum members you're basically paying for one element and getting two free which is why it's been so busy on that um, we also had on the show for you those nesting dies so you're getting that scalloped oval die totally free of charge which is awesome uh, you're going to pay for the stitched edge oval and the scalloped round but we're also going to give you a discount on those two and we just had a little look at these the edgeables uh, you got the balloons the butterflies and the hearts and you're getting that brush included for free uh, we also had the expressions dies available for you on the show as well 11 pounds 19 or 16.59 if you want to get your hands on those uh, you're getting step and out step and hour and friend for free uh, this one here is your embossing folder collection. The two Sarah Signature Crafty Fun ones are free and you've got an awesome discount too there as well. You've still got a 15% discount on top of that as well. We need to give a card away. The card winner is Paula Jackson. Paula Jackson, congratulations. What one would you like to give away then, Debbie? I think the double-sided one, you know. This the double-sided window one. Yeah, yeah it is I think beautiful, it's awesome. isn't it? 
Congratulations, Paula. We will get that winging its way out to you. Uh, remember, there's loads coming up tomorrow again here on Crafters TV. Uh, we have got a double discount craft fault in the morning, kicking us off. Myself and Debbie uh, will be here at 11 a.m. to bring you that, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, then, of course, at 1 o'clock UK time, we've got a masterclass, double-sided dies. And guys, honestly, it should be like a double-sided cartload. The deals are that incredible in it. I was just prepping it uh, with Johnny. Um, that's us letting the bosses know that we do prep. Um, <laughs> but the deals are really, really good. I mean, like saving double what you're spending, it's that good. Uh, and then of course, Second Chance Sunday uh, will be here. And then another edition of The Craft Hole. Debbie, can I say it's been a pleasure to be reunited with you uh, again today in The Craft Room. Should we do it all again tomorrow? Oh, let's do it all again tomorrow. I've had so much fun today. I've loved it and I can't wait to get stuck in tomorrow. I've got so many things that I want to show you tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it's going to be fabulous. Mm, see if you make more than 25 cards again on the show tomorrow who knows uh, we can hope uh, yes yeah, so a really big day of shows coming tomorrow uh, Monday uh, shows uh, coming up all day with you as well Craig's back Debbie's back on Monday too so it's a really awesome day uh, I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with us it's been fabulous I've loved it massive thanks to Debbie a big thanks to the team somewhere over there uh, in the gallery as well uh, and also of course the biggest thanks goes to you guys at home now if you're here in the UK I hope you enjoy what is left of the rest of your evening me and debbie are off home to watch the masked singer uh, and have a little bit of dinner that's our plan for the evening what's your plan if you're across in the us i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you back here tomorrow for another full day take care